Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. This vid in this video I'm gonna be using all products um that up until um recently I've never used. Um some I haven't used some I've used a couple of times. Uh the only thing that I've used on a regular basis pretty much is gonna be the witch hazel. Uh so Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're doing. And this video is also to say thanks to a person that has piffed me stuff in the past. And they just recently nailed me again. And I mean, they nailed me good, guys. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing video on it because it was just, I mean, it took me a bit to get it straightened out. Um. Because I needed my girlfriend here to tell me what was what. So, anyways, let's take a look at what we're going to be using. The razor is one that I've never seen. I think I may have heard of them before. But it is Bubba Duke. It comes in this really nice black box. A kind of silvery tag right there that says Bubba Duke. You know, like a bow tie look, I guess my girlfriend says. Comes with a pack of blades, which I have used one, and I really didn't like them. Um, they're just quite not for me. Um, I'll probably revisit them in the future, and maybe it'll be different results. But there it is. Nice padded box inside. And let's get the razor out. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to drop the blades back in here and put the box lid back on and just stick it out of the way. But there it is guys. This long handle, if it was sharper at this end I could use it as a lethal weapon. <laughs> um, it says Barbadoo on the head. The only problem I had with this razor is it had been um, sitting for a bit, so the handle was kind of stuck. So I let soak in mineral oil with the head down, and it loosened the handle enough. There's the inside of the top cap. And the inside of the base plate got these nice scalloping on the, on the safety bars. Back plate, back of the base plate, and it's just, it's a nice razor. The handle, zero knurling, except maybe a little up here, but um, I've used it. The last shave I did, I tried getting on camera guys, and I was just having a heck of a time, had too much water in the brush. Used a cream and it was constantly running down and I was having to constantly cut away, rinse off, come back. So I was doing a lot of editing and finally I said, screw it, I'll just do it again. So let's go ahead and let's get the blade, the razor, love it. The blade um, is one that's on its second use. I switched over mid-shave. Um, on the last one because just I wasn't getting along with those barbecue blades But it is oh Nate is restless a Balsano Enox um, Dennis sent me along with the package he sent me um, Some blades and the Balsano Enox was one of them and I've never used one until last time for just finishing up a head shave because I couldn't find my disposables, believe it or not. Put the cap on our base plate. Now this I found you can kind of adjust it, you'll get a bigger blade gap. Um, if you don't torque it down, but I'm going to pour my own piece of mine this time, and there you go, 
Not a real significant blade gap. Um, not a real super significant blade reveal. But the way I was using it last time, it was a bit aggressive. Alright, so the brush is one that I've heard of a lot. I've seen on videos a few times. Just never had one until now. And that is this one. This is a an early turn and shave brush before Milton start putting the coin at the bottom. But it's kind of sunk in, so that's cool. I think this might be his bishop design. Because to me it looks like a bishop on a chessboard, you know. Kind of fat here, it narrows off. Got this little collar, and then it's got the head up here. And I'm not sure what this knot is, but it's synthetic, and it's a good knot. I like it. The soap will be Artisan Shave Shop Cooling Waters. Ah, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It is a softer soap. So we'll set that aside. So let's go ahead, let the brush and get it loaded real quick. This knot does, yeah, we'll do that. As you can see, hardly driven. Holds quite a bit of water. So, we'll load the brush. Straight out of the tub. I hope you all have been doing well. Um, the raffle I spoke of in the last, it is... April 30th, 2019. Get that proto lather off. April 30th, 2019. The um, raffle I spoke of in the last video that Aaron Fugerd, Aaron Fugerd was doing is closed. So, if you were hoping to get in on the raffle, if you haven't yet, well, however the winner did say, that, let me get some water on my face, he did say he was going to mull over what he wanted to take, because it's just so much stuff, and he was going to let a second raffle be thrown. Um, anyways, so we we'll can go ahead and weather up here. Well, as you can see, the brush is doing quite well. No, I'm really liking. the performance of this brush. So I had to do a little bit of rinsing there. So get some heat in this blade. And here we go. First pass with the grain. Yeah, not quite as aggressive as it was, but still one moment guys, I want to get a little bit of water on my fingers, reach over here. Kind of caress my lumbar because this handle has zero zero knurling, but you know it's okay because 
Alan helps. Ooh, about myself, um, that was not the razor's fault. I do not believe. So, but I like this blade. I guess um, the fundraising for Uncle John and his video, I mean not video, raffle and stuff. Um, 4500, something like that. Anyways, let me rinse off, yeah. So. Um, but yeah, 4500 that's a pretty good haul, though. So, I'm sure the Conleys will appreciate that. So. Now, when I got into this hobby, I, uh, I learned very quickly about how generous and how awesome some of the guys out there can be. Uh, Galston. Um, it was barely two months in to my wet shaving path, down my wet shaving path, when I got on Shave the Man, introduced myself, and, you know, kind of told my story a little bit, how I was a blind wet shaver, and, um, Phrase I like to use at the end of my videos where I say, see you on the flip side of the blade. It kind of, um, came out on that post. But, three guys, man. Picked me some pretty neat stuff. Um, well, not a lot of stuff. Um, one guy gave me a tub of lavender castle forbs. Most of a tub. It had a little bit scooped out, but that's yeah, it's a cream, man. Second pass then. Um, you know. Another guy gave me a tub of Katie's Bubbles, I forget which one. And another guy gave me a, well, three and a half and three quarters tub of uh, B&M Lava, Laffa, original line. The barber shop scent. So, and Blades. Just say, hey, welcome to the Brotherhood. And, um, uh, you know, I've seen guys get on these videos, you know, the big guys like CDB, um, Ken Surf, Paul H, and some others get a lot of stuff. 
from guys or companies, companies and vendors and stuff, you know, razors, shape bowls, soaps, creams. And I thought, well, that'd be cool if that never happened to me. But, you know, these guys got thousands of subscribers, some of them. So, I never did figure I would be that lucky. I mean, I've won some giveaways here and there, don't get me wrong. I've been lucky in that respect. But, um, you know kindness that some of the guys have shown me especially Dennis and um he's just blows my mind actually um you know, I think, you know, I'm a little guy. I've got less than 100 subscribers. Why do I rate this? Where do I rate in the, in the you know, picking order of YouTube says <laughs> Peter, whatever. But why am I so lucky for this? course that's always kind of been my downfall you know things sometimes for me good things happen and it's like wow I mean why why should I deserve this you know and kind of gives me a reason to Pause and kind of take personal stock. Hang on, guys. I think I got a, a hobgoblin trying to escape. Yep, I had somebody trying to get out, escape. So, but you know, I say, well, you know, when do I deserve this? And then I take stock of myself and I think, yeah, you know. Um, I do, you know, I, I, if somebody feels I deserve this, then, you know, I do, so, you know, um, it's just, it's just kind of mind-blowing, um, the kindness that I've felt in this community, and, and from not just, you know, the ones that have sent me stuff, but just many of you who have subscribed to this channel. It's just like, you know, and, you know, and you guys, y'all are the reason I do this. I mean, you truly are. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see you back here shortly for the post. Ah, uh, mighty good shape, guys. Mighty, mighty good shape. Let's talk about the gear. The... Um, a little on a little little on the aggressive side. Um, for me, it seems a little more on the aggressive side. Maybe it's the blade angle. I don't know, but it's a good performing little razor. It's smooth. I'll give it that smooth. At least with the ball Balsano Enox in it, it was smooth. Um, got me very clean. Got me very close. I nicked myself down here, but that was because I kind of lost track of the angle. And I mean, you do that, and you're going to get bit. It didn't really bleed. It just kind of smarted a little. Um, had of course with a cartridge style disposable razor, kind of a Mach three type setup. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. The turn and shave brush. Really, really like that brush. I like it a lot. Um, um, 
So let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. First off, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Which, Dennis, thank you for um, turning me on to it. Back, what, second pit box, I think. So, um, but yeah. That is the one thing I, I do I do truly like about this about this community is you know generosity that you find a lot of times. Um it's awesome. I do what I can to help others, I help my brother out when I can. Then sent a big tub of Franken soap they threw together. Um, I forget what this is, but it's a, no, that's the Nibia, that's not the one I wanted. Um, we had kind of, it was in the 70s, but gosh, it was chilly, chilly rain today. I forget what this one's called, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little of it. Because I think this might be an Arco, I'm not sure. But, um, mm, God could say it. But, um, my face was feeling a little dry today, so I'm almost done with the bomb weather, anyways, so. So I split that, like I said, I split that tub of, of uh, Franklin soap with my brother. He appreciated it. So, um, so. There's one or two other people I help out when I can, you know, when my you know, friend Chris and I got him into, into wet shaving and I helped him out with some samples of some stuff he never tried before. So, that he really liked, so. But then again, he's ended up putting me together a couple of piff boxes. Oh, he's putting me together one, and he's putting me together another one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's just, you know, that type of kindness just, it, it, it can be a little overwhelming um, for some. For me, it is because, you know, I didn't get a lot when I was growing up, so I very much appreciate it when people give me stuff. Um, it just, it just, for me, it's just, you know, sometimes more than words can, you know, I just can't put my, my appreciation into words sometimes. Anyways, um, Finn McCool, aftershave. So, I haven't used this one. I used the other two that Dennis sent me. One was Sterling Arctic that tundra, tundra, Frozen Tundra, I think it was. And the other, I'm not sure what, in, what it was, but because I've never, oh, this feels nice. No burn. It's very nice. Um, Went ahead and used it. And if you've ever used the uh, Frozen Tundra by Sterling, you'll know what I mean. Because Frozen Tundra and the other one, they both act the same. Where all of a sudden, it's, you feel nothing. And then all of a sudden, you're like, hmm, it's getting kind of warm. 
and it just gets warmer and warmer and, and warmer and then you're like thinking oh my goodness <laughs> how much longer is this thing going to be heating up and then the menthol kicks in so you know to me it's kind of like a trick of alchemy or something I don't know but it was a nice effect so anyways guys that was the shave um there wasn't really any burn to that fin mickle um good match though I think I think this fin mickle is a good match for this cooling waters soap from the arson club shave shop which is a really really good soap a little a little um i don't know maybe razor rock strength as far as the scent um i don't know how old that tub is it doesn't look that old or it doesn't seem like it's that old of a tub but it might have been stronger scent at one time but it has got plenty of scent plenty of pleasant scent and it's a really good performance soap so anyways thank you guys um I hope you all have a good one and I hope you all are getting to some interesting mail calls and stuff and you know and uh, I'll see you all again in the next video and on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.